Nilsa Nostin, Makwali and Quick She with Shiknawikali, Aushimo Panolti, Inawatla Tokan. Welcome back, and once again, Happy New Year, everyone. That's what come to everyone who was able to make it to the Mexica New Year ceremony in San Jose with Capulito Naleke. It was a beautiful ceremony, and thank you everyone who put the work in to make it happen. Unfortunately, because of the pandemic, we had to have more of a private ceremony this year. And I know that not everyone who wanted to go was able to make it, but hopefully things will get better next year so that we can have more of an open ceremony again. Now, if you're wondering why I'm saying Happy New Year in the middle of March, it's because I'm referring to the New Year on the Mexica calendar, otherwise known as the Aztec or Mesoamerican calendar. Throughout history, cultures around the world developed their own systems for keeping track of time. There were different calendars in Africa, Asia, Australia, Europe, and the Americas. The calendar we use in the United States is called the Gregorian calendar, and it was introduced by Pope Gregory the 13th in 1582. Now the Gregorian calendar is slightly off, so we need a leap year every four years to compensate for the extra quarter of a day that it takes the Earth to complete its cycle around the sun, which gets ignored every year which is why we have an extra day in February every four years. I'm kind of oversimplifying, but I'm not here to teach you about the Gregorian calendar. The Mexica calendar, on the other hand, actually incorporates that extra quarter of a day so that the new year begins at a different time every year. This 365 and roughly quarter of a day solar calendar is called the Xipowali, or year count. And it's part of what's actually a system of calendars that make up the Mexica calendar. There's also a 260 day calendar called the Tonalpawali, or day count. But we'll talk about that in a later episode when we dive a little deeper into the Mexica calendar. In the Xipowali, there are four year signs. Kali, which means house. Tochli, which means rabbit. Akat, which means reed. And Tekpat, which means flint. The year Kali begins at midnight. The year Tochli begins at sunrise. The year Akat begins at noon. And the year Tekpat begins at sunset. As mentioned earlier, we're in the year Chiknawi Kali, which means nine house. Nine represents wind and rain the center of balance, and the beginning of learning, and house represents protection, home, and family. This design was a collaboration between Tochliware and Urban Aztec. Check them out. Again, we'll dive a little deeper into the meaning of each number and day sign on the Mexica calendar in a later episode, but that's pretty much a brief overview. In the end, you gotta wonder, if we have calendars that are more accurate and indigenous to North America, calendars that are much older than the Gregorian calendar, then why aren't we using these calendars instead? Well, thank you for watching. And if you live in the Bay Area, make sure to check out the Mexica New Year Market, hosted by Carpulito Naleque at the San Jose Flea Market on Berryessa, this weekend, March 19, 20, and 21. Pause the video for the details. And if you do go to the market, please be safe. Wear your masks and maintain a safe distance of at least six feet apart. Tlaso Kamati, and I'll see you next time.